Dance on Griffin's occasion series of YouTube tutorials in MATLAB. Today we're using uh, the Google API, the static Google API, and I'm using this code that's freely available from the MATWORKS file exchange. So just to get the IP out of the way, Zohar, um, bar Yehuda, uh, we did a, we plotted a Google map. So it's up there, that's where you get it. And I'll just do some commentary here. Uh, you can read it there in your own time and just when I start to read the comments down here they're very well documented um, just can't find it here one of the chaps there we are one of the chaps used this uh, to publish it in nature so there's he is there and you can see the quality of the magazine or the quality of the uh, article of the figure it's very high quality and just one other thing before I go if you're doing very high quality and you're overlaying one figure on top of the other uh, you may need this other uh, piece of code available on MATLAB central file exchange that's export fig so but you can play around to that okay I can shut that down and one other thing later on you can guess the um, the country codes, the cities, etc., to appear in any language you want, and that's from the Wikipedia website there. Okay, so we'll see how that works in a minute or two. So there's simply uh, there's the default latitude and longitude, and we're plotting the latitude and longitude with a marker size of 20 in red. And then here you can call it, and I'm saying plot a roadmap. The language is French, and I'm, I'm to show the labels is true. So that's all we're doing for the moment. We'll look at the code a little bit in a second. So we just run the program there. So you can see the red markers come up, and in a second the map comes afterwards there but there's two plots here there's the red markers and then there's the map now the map the way the thing is written is always the bottom layer and the red markers here would be the second layer so you can see that we've got our google maps and we've got the markers in red and it's in um, french now you could just change this here you'd have to look up the code yourself but just say we want a satellite And just run it again. And there's the satellite. So the code is here. And I just happen to be at the default parameters here. Now you could change the defaults here. You know the auto refresh the map type etc but the simplest thing is just be aware that they are the default parameters and then when you call it you can then specify you know the the white the hit the width the height the language the map type etc etc okay short and sweet hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening